So what I'm going to show you now is how you can open one activity from another, basically have an application with more than one activity, how that's done in Android. And I'm going to show you the application very quickly. It's a BMI calculator in which you enter the weight in pounds, 165, height, in inches, say 69 inches, you compute your BMI, that's 24.3, you click more, and that opens a new activity, a new window, that should tell you, for example, your BMI is normal, nothing to worry about. If I go back, I go back to my previous window, if this were, say, 175, 175 in the weight, I will compute my BMI, I click more, tap more, and then it might say you're overweight. Right, this is a different screen. And then later, if I put 200, I get my BMI, I say more, and it'll tell me, oh, you're overweight. Well, how about 210 now? It'll tell me that you're obese, this can be a problem, please talk to your doctor. So depending on your BMI computation, this more will open a new activity with some advice, okay? That's the application we're building. All right. Instead of coding, what I'm going to do is to show you how to do certain things, and I'm just going to show you the code so you can follow it and you can replicate it in your and your um, you can replicate it in your computer. So please look at the BMI calculator video when I show you how to do a very simple BMI calculator because this extends from that one. Well. To create activities, you go to your package, right? Right click, new, and then activity, and then blank activity. That's, that's how I am creating this Java classes over there, okay? And again, this all happens when you create a new project. So I created two activities. This one, BMI calc activity and BMI explanation activity. Each activity has an XML associated to it. BMI calc activity has the activity BMI calc XML and B activity BMI explanation is, I mean, activity BMI explanation that XML is the XML associated to the second activity. On the first activity, uh, let's look at the design for each one of them. Activity BMI calc .xml has the following components, it has a text view that doesn't that uh, has some string in it has edit text a text view edit text button text view button and I'm going to show you this in the design view it has um, it has an edit text here right edit text right there text view to enter text edit text over there text view button there's a hidden text view in here underneath right there and then there's another button okay so if we if we blow it up a little bit you can see text view edit text text view edit text button there's an edit text you can't see here and then there's another button now this thing's hidden inches Win pounds, XXX pounds, XXX inches, BMI, and the word more, I have stored them in my strings.xml. Under res, under values, there's a strings.xml. In here, you define the strings that your activities are going to use. And I have defined the different strings. So, for example, the button that says more at the end, is the string is called button BMI more, and it just says more. Okay? So when you look at the activity here, at the XML, you will see that the button in the text field, it has add string forward slash button BMI more. This makes reference to what I have defined in my strings.xml, which is the word more. Why don't I put the word more, I'm sorry, why don't I put the word more directly here? Well, because if I want to change that, if I want to uh, say translate this application into Spanish, or whatever I don't want to be messing around with the with the XML it's too delicate it can if I forget to close something or if I do something wrong it might just uh, you know break my application however if I just change the string it's a it's a very easy way to um, 
to uh, customize the application in all in one place. Anyways, we have my first layout for my first activity. And my second activity, all it has is just a text view that says hello world because I didn't bother to erase it, but has a text view called BMI detail, okay? And it's just a, 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 a large text, te text view, okay? It can accommodate up to 10 lines. It is not clickable, all right? So, and it is of text size median, right? For text size, um, in order to, to change the text size, you can go to design, see how the text view is selected. And on this side here, you can find text size here, right here, right? And here's my text. I just selected this from, from a list of options over here. All right. So I have a text view that's going to display the advice in my second activity. And on the first activity, I have the spaces and text and, and prompts to actually enter my information and compute the BMI. Let's look at how these two things talk to each other. Um, first, in the BMI Calc XML, the button that controls the BMI has an on-click associated event. It says compute BMI. That means that I will have to have a method called exactly this, compute BMI, in my calc activity, in order to compute the BMI. The other button, the more button, has an on-click event called more info. That means that in my BMI calc activity, I will need to have a more info method as well, which is what's going to open the next activity. So let's look at them. The first activity, in the first activity in my onCreate method, okay, uh, my onCreate method, I just get the default and then I also I also connect Java variables to my visual components with the find view by ID. Now these methods come by default. I could actually delete them if I don't need them. But here's the thing. When I click on the compute BMI button, this is the method. It has to be public void call it whatever you called it in the onClick um, in the XML, and then it must receive a view as a parameter. What I do here is I create, I get the weight and the height as double values from the text components, from the weight and the height t, which again, if we go back, weight t and height t are connected to my visual components for the weight edit text and the height edit text. Edit text. I do that and then I set the output text to whatever formula I need for the BMI. And that gets me the BMI. That goes up to, with this code, I am good to actually simply compute the BMI. And I will show you how to do that in the emulator very quickly. So if I type away 165, 58, um, sorry. 68 inches, BMI. When I click BMI, the output text now has the value of the BMI. So far is the exact same thing as I had in the BMI video, or very similar. Now, the next thing is, how do I go to the advice? What happens when I click on this button that says more? Well, according to the XML, I sent it to a method called more info. So I create a method called more info, again, that receives a view because it's in the on click from the XML. And here's the thing. I'm going to create what's called an intent. I create an intent, just for convenience, I named it I. And when creating the intent, I can create it this way. One parameter is this, basically this activity. And the next parameter is the class of the activity that I want to open, the, the activity that comes next. And it is a BMI explanation activity dot class, which is that one, that activity. Okay, so I have to put the name of the activity and then dot class. That's just how it has to be for now. Okay, so I have created an intent. An intent is sort of a bridge where I can pass information from one place to the other. And I'm going to pass information from this class to this other class. Okay. Then I'm going to put the information that I want to pass. I will say I, the intent, I'm going to call the, met the method put extra. 
I will give it a name for this value. I'm, I'm going to pass the BMI number, okay? But I want to have a reference to that. I'm just going to call this BMI, just because I can call it BMI number. That's fine. I'll call it BMI number. And what am I going to put in BM under BMI number? I'm going to get the text, the output text. Basically, the BMI that was put in the output text, I'm going to get that BMI and put it in a hidden variable in the intent called BMI number. And then I will say start activity and I give the intent as a parameter. Basically, what this is going to say, it's going to start the activity, the target activity from this intent, which is BMI explanation activity, with these parameters also in there with some info with some extra information so bmi number which will contain our actual bmi now this starts the new activity the intent starts the new activity but then we have to use this bmi number somewhere so we're going to go to the b bmi explanation activity in the onCreate method remember this activity has a text field so I just create a hook to that. Remember, I declare that hook over here as a global variable, and I attach it to that global variable here. And then you say you create another intent by calling the method getIntent. This basically says, if an intent open this activity, get it and put it in this variable i. Then I'm going to create a string called bmi and what I'm going to put in there is from the intent, I will get the extra a string called BMI number. This is the one that I put uh, before before op before uh, opening this activity, right? I put it on the other activity. I just get it here and put it in a variable BMI BMI, and then I'll just display something. So the advice text, which is the text where I put the advice. I'll just set the text to, and then a little method that I create, display advice with the variable BMI, which is the string. Okay. Now, what does display advice do? Well, it's very simple. It's just a bunch of ifs. Display advice gets the BMI as a string. It converts it into a double. And then it has a response, which by default is your fine. If the BMI is less than 18.5, the response changes to your underweight. If the BMI is greater than 18.5 but less than 24.9, the response is your BMI is normal, nothing to worry about. If the BMI number is more than 24.9 but less than 29.9, then you're overweight. In any other case, then you're obese. This can be a problem. Please talk to your doctor. And I return the response. That's all this method does. It gets the string BMI and returns a response for that. And I just put it as text for the advice text. And this is what you saw in the application. <clears throat> um, let's see it again. One last time. Oops. OK. And then let's wait. My computer is a little slow. I apologize for that. But here it is. So I have 160, 68 inches, compute the BMI, hit more. And then this is going to open a new activity that says my BMI is normal, nothing to worry about. If I hit back, again, because the activities are in a stack, this one is removed, the next one in line in the stack becomes alive again. And I can put, you know, I can have a little height, a height of 62 inches of my BMI, now I'm overweight. And then if I am heavier than this, 200 pounds, BMI, more, and then the other response. So as you can see, I've been passing information from one activity to the other. This is a very simple example. Of course, there are no validations. If I don't provide a string or whatever, you know, the application will break. But this is a simple way to show you how to pass uh, data from one activity to the other.